Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. Thanks for 79 subscribers. Please give me 20k subscribers. New videos every one Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, today's video, as if you saw my post about my upcoming video in October, one of my upcoming videos, and my video for today. Today's videos, if you saw it on my post on my YouTube channel, and like my text poll, whatever you want to call it, if you saw it, today's video is not a happy one. Um, today, 22 years ago, was a horrible tragedy for our country, if you live in the United States, which I do. Um, it was a horrible tragedy because four years ago today, four planes crashed. It was a terrorist attack um, from Al-Qaeda, and Osama bin Laden was the leader of Al-Qaeda. Osama bin Laden has not been around for 12 years now. He was killed in May of 2011 from Navy SEALs ordered by President Barack Obama at the time. And um, I just want to say, I before we get started with today's video, I dedicate this to the first responders and victims of this horrible tragedy, victims, families, and um, former President George W. Bush, because they did a lot, and um, yeah. But before we start this video, I would like to have a moment of silence for all those lives lost 22 years ago today. Okay, I hope you had a good time to reflect. Um, now, um, today's video is just about my feelings. So today, I felt a little, I felt sad. I woke up a little bit crying because I knew, even though I wasn't around, I, you know, I'm like, I woke up, I'm like, oh my gosh, today's the 22nd anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, and it is. But thank goodness, 9-11 is almost over, and we shouldn't have it at all, but it shouldn't have happened at all, but we have it, and it happened, and the positive thing about this, there's a negative and positive. The positive about this is it only happens, the anniversary only happens once a year. The negative about it, it happens every, the anniversary happens every year. Next year it'll be 23 years since the attacks. Um, so my condolences go out to, if you're watching this and you lost a family member, a friend, a relative, um, an aunt, an uncle, whoever, if you lost somebody that day, my condolences go out to you and I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, whether they were in the planes that hit the towers, the Pentagon or Virginia, I am sorry, or they were in the Twin Towers, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, it's very hard. And just remember this, you are not one day further than to them, you're one day closer to them, so remember that. Um, but I'm my condolences to go out to anybody who lost a loved one or a friend or a relative that day, that must be very hard and I'm sorry. Um, my dad actually, believe it or not, lost a couple friends on American Airlines Flight 11, the flight that Mohammed Atta and Betty Ong were on. Betty Ong was the flight attendant and Mohammed Atta was the, one of the terrorists. Um, yeah, they were going from Boston to LAX, but they never made it. My dad lost a couple friends on Flight 11 that was supposed to go to LAX. So my condolences go up to, you know, anybody on Flight 11 that their lives were lost or any of the flights um you know and I just you know I feel you know 22 years later you know I'm 16 I wasn't around I was born March 7th of 2007 I was born five and a half years after the attacks occurred I wasn't around but I can tell you this over learning more and more information about the attacks every year it's never easy but I'm just grateful I didn't have to live through that, you know, because if I did, I probably would have been scared. And I suffer from anxiety as it is, and I take medication for it. So, you know, I feel sad and I feel, you know, like our nation had lost a lot, but I'm, you know, it changed America. 9-11 changed everything and it really did. Sorry for my messy hair. I did a bun and look how it ended up. 
wore my hair like this to school, but it wasn't like Missy as this. Anyway, um, yeah, a lot of lives were lost. And, you know, you can sit here and be all sad about it. And it's okay. Or you can sit here and be like, I learned something from 9-11. I took away something from that day. I actually got to realize, you know, life isn't always fair or whatever the case may be. Um, and you know what? It's okay to wonder and have questions and ask God if you believe in, if you're a Christian. I am a Christian, so it's okay to ask God or whoever, like, why? Why did this have to happen? Why us? Why the United States? You know? And it's okay to ask questions. I ask questions to God all the time. It's okay to be curious. It's okay to wonder. It's okay to not know why something happened. It's okay to not know why this happened. But what matters is that you're here now and just, just remember, I am going to overcome this. I am the overcomer. I am not the weak link. I am strong. I am brave. I can do this. Whenever anything, whether it's another year of 9-11, another anniversary of 9-11, Another anniversary of a relative's death, a friend's death, a family member's death. Whether you lost a cat, lost a pet, lost a child, if they were sick. Just say to yourself, I can overcome this. I'm going to overcome this. I'm an overcomer. I am not the weak link. I am strong. I am tough. I am brave. I am smart. Just keep repeating that to yourself because if you keep repeating that to yourself, Good things are gonna happen, are most likely to happen. Um, and, you know, 22 years later, our world is still not perfect because we have stuff going on in Ukraine that Russia and North Korea are teaming up for. But, you know, I, you know, just can't imagine what a world would be like if it were perfect. And, I'm saying, I'm not trying to scare you viewers or subscribers or whoever's watching my channel right now. I'm just saying, I love you as my fans and my subscribers, but I'm not trying to scare you. This world will never be perfect, and it will. There's no such thing as a perfect world. There's no such thing as a perfect life. There's no such thing as um, a perfect relationship with somebody. It's just not. You can look at it and say, oh, I think it's perfect, but perfect is what people think of as no mistakes. And it's really never gonna happen because we're all gonna make mistakes. This was a big mistake, but this was planned. This wasn't a mistake. You could look back on a math test or history test and say, oh, I made a human mistake on number eight. That's okay, because we're not perfect. You're not perfect. Even, you could you could think you have all the money in the world. You could still not, you could be, have a lot of money and still not be perfect. And this is why I want you guys to realize that 22 years later, we still have problems. 22 years later after 9-11, we still have problems. It's not the same problems as we had 22 years ago in 2001, but we still have problems, you know? And I couldn't imagine a world without problems. I'm sure you guys can't. You guys are watching at home or wherever you're watching can't. Um, but just remember what I said and really take that deep into heart. Don't take it for granted. Do not. But just know that it's okay to grieve today. It's okay to grieve for the whole month of September. It's okay to grieve any day. Just remember that people care about you. People care. People care about your feelings about 9-11. You know? And my feelings are not the same as yours. They could be different. They could be better. They could be worse. They could be the same. They could be mediocre. Who knows? They could be negative. I sometimes have negative feelings and it's okay. If you're thinking about today and you're thinking, why did my friend die? Why did my sibling die? Just remember it wasn't their fault. And they let you know that they were okay, that they were gonna be okay. Or that they were positive. But just know that 
even though they're not here anymore, you can still remember them. You can try and talk to them. They're probably just watching over you like an angel. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that what Al-Qaeda did was right. It wasn't. It was for religious reasons. But, you know, we all have challenges, and this is one of the United States challenges. It's recognized all over the world but mostly in the United States because they hit here. Now, I'm not saying go and hijack a plane. No, don't do that. That's not good. But just know that if you, um, if you're feeling grief, sorrow, sadness, guilt, you're feeling gut-wrenching feelings, which I've had before, and they're not pleasant, but it happens. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel all feelings. Because we're only human. Out of lots of species on this earth, we are, we are human. But, with that being said, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for 79 subscribers. Please give me 20k subscribers and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great rest of your 9-11 and just remember that 9-11 will never be forgotten. And always remember that it's not one day further from, it's not one day further from whoever you lost, it's one day closer to them. And I hope you remember that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.